Okay, we're back again and we're going to do some pouring. Now, uh, someone asked me, how do you clean your uh, brush if you uh, forget about, you know, your brush? Well, this one is from three days ago. And I, again, I forgot to clean it. So I've had it in water for a day. Then I have one of these combs. This is uh, one of the combs that I usually uh, do the dog with. And I just see how it comes off. That is um, how I clean the brush that I forget. So all I really do is just comb through these fibers. And this only works with um, synthetic fibers, I'm pretty sure, because it won't it won't work with the uh, the pig's hair brushes. So see how it all comes off. That's pretty cool. And it saves me on some brushes. See how much comes off? That's a lot. Uh, I use, they, they call it a lice comb. And what I, why I use it normally is for the, for the dog because when my husband takes her for a walk and she comes back, I just comb her with this to see if there are any ticks or, or something like that on her just to make sure. Because if you do that when a dog has been uh, in the woods, uh, the ticks won't be that far that they are stuck on the animal yet. And you can just comb them off. So that's pretty good. But this year we have had almost no ticks whatsoever. So that's really, um, that's good. Then every once in a while I'll put this in hot water with a little bit of soda just to clean it off. And uh, there you go, it's clean. Got to make sure that I don't get any in my paint. But now if you put it in a little bit of uh, warm water with a little bit of dish soap, you'll have your brush good as new. So that's how I clean it. Ooh, I'm doing a lot of videos this, uh, this weekend. So um, bear with me, guys. Okay, what I'm going to do is um, uh, the small ones for the giveaway uh, with the blue and all the colors. So um, what I did last time was in a, a bottle cap. And I think that's the way to go for paintings that are this small. So I have my paints all mixed up. Perfect consistency. Runs off the stick like warm honey. And this is a background color, so no silicone. <coughs> but all the other colors, except this one, because this is also a background color. Now, I will put a little bit in another cup and add silicone. And I'll do that with the blue, too. And I'll explain why. Um, when we do background colors you want it to be smooth as as silk so that's why we don't put any silicone in a background color I think this is a little bit too much that's why we don't put silicone in a background color because we want to have a nice and smooth background but everything that we do that we want the cells in there we put no silicone a lot of a lot of silicone that's where we add the silicone so background colors, put them aside. And now I'm going to be adding a tiny, not too much, just a little, a little squirt, a couple of drops come out. And that's more than enough. Don't want to overdo it. Then we sort of stir it in. And I was going to tell you guys uh, what I am mixing lately, so I'll do that too. Now I have, um, like I said, I'm fully stocked with uh, Vallejo again because everything came in yesterday. That was uh, kind of uh, nice. Now, what I use is for the uh, mix is Vallejo Pouring Medium, the new formula. And uh, for people that are in America, I'll show you how you can see that. Vallejo 
but the old formula will work too so if you have the old one it's no problem but this is the new one and you'll see that with the red dot it says new formula so this is the new formula pouring medium if you want to make sure you get the good one it's 28460 that's the pouring medium now if you're using Vallejo fluid acrylics which I will be doing later on I'm gonna do the same one but then with Vallejo then it's the thicker medium you want that's 28465 that's the thicker medium so that's that so I put paint in my cup I add 30 35 40 percent pouring medium it's not like baking a cake guys I want to really put a lot of um, emphasis on that because it's not like baking a cake it's gonna work so you just eyeball it you put in like 30 35 40 percent pouring medium on the paint some people say give us that in milliliters but you can't because I, I'm, I don't know how much paint you're gonna be putting in your cup because you decide how much of one color you're gonna use so you just put it in the cup 30 35 percent pouring medium then I have my PVAC glue a lot of people are asking what is it it's bookbinders glue and it's archival it doesn't yellow and it stays flexible that's important if you are if you're not sure I wouldn't use it but it has to stay flexible has to be archival and it, it has to be non yellowing uh, uh, glue the one I have it um, dries complete, completely transparent it's almost like glass so it will not well when you mix the colors it will because it's white but when it dries it will not influence the colors I, I take that and I add about 30 percent water I put it in one of those little squirt bottles or one of these bottles when they're empty I fill it to the half of uh, with PVAC glue and then add about 30 40 percent water I mix it up it's nice and watery and that's what I put in my paint and then I will put in some gloss medium if I have it sometimes I won't sometimes I will and I do polymer medium and that is I'll show you that one and it's all about the volume because uh, polymer medium is of course a lot of uh, binders so you want to have your paints nice and fluid but you don't want to add too much water because then you compromise the binding uh, capacity of the paint so what you do is do a lot of this stuff like PVAC and polymer medium and gloss medium and then you get to the right consistency you add a little bit of water and it's like honey that's what I'm doing at the moment next week might be a whole different deal you never know okay so this is all the paints with the Oh, I need a bottle cap of course I'll use this one now I have uh, the background color without the silicone want to make sure you get that because background colors don't have silicone otherwise you get all those little dimples in it from the silicone and that's not what we really want look at that almost the same color so I thought I'd do it like this because it goes just a little bit faster and it's a little bit smoother so one of these you can buy uh, all over the place they have them in cooking shops and in in uh, in those shops where you buy home improvement stuff they will have these they cost next to nothing okay let me do one little pullover. That's okay. Oop, got my finger in there. Didn't want to do that. Now I do have to do the sides. Here we go. I have a nice story to tell in a bit. Uh, maybe not this video. I've been yakking too much. <laughs> I love that word yakking yak 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 okay here we go nice and smooth 
but it's really a really nice story and uh, kind of creepy too I'll tell you about that why it's creepy yeah now you're all thinking now come on give us the story but no I'll save it for the next one there we go nice and smooth all covered yep could use two layers though this is uh, pretty transparent so and it says it's opaque but it's not we'll see um, maybe a little bit <laughs> so just to get those little patches hmm that's looking better that's the good thing about having a monitor in front of you you know even though the light sometimes shines on this when I look at, at the monitor I can see exactly if I need a little bit more paint or if there are little bits of pieces that are bare okay there we go I was gonna ask you guys oh yeah that was what I was gonna ask see these uh, answering of all these comments on YouTube takes up a lot of time and I was thinking you know if you don't mind guys because I really I really like to when I do a comment I say thank you and then I put your name in you know if your name is in your um, in your YouTube name I put that in but I think I'll have to uh, skip that a little bit and just say thank you because that's a copy paste thing that I do you know just to speed it up because I get so many comments and then when I do get a question I can really answer the question and which I always usually do um, but you know for the people that just say awesome or wow pretty colors I'll just put in a little heart and say thank you that's it if that's okay with you guys okay now background color away we're gonna do um, pretty colors so we're gonna start with a little bit of this of this nice egg shelly color someone called it buttercream and I think that's exactly uh, what it looks like buttercream a little bit of blue Ooh, don't want to put the yellow on the blue because then we get green so I'm gonna put on a little bit of brown then some orange maybe a little bit more orange I like how orange pops up but I like it when it's mixed a little bit with the sienna so I'll put those two together then I'm gonna come back with this one okay, okay. and I'm already making a mess And I want to keep it a little bit clean because I'm going to be doing a lot of pouring. And I'm thinking turquoise, but maybe not. Let's not do turquoise. So we got all the colors in there. Oh no, we forgot the yellow. We're going to put in a little bit of yellow. Okay, that's enough. Now, here we go. I'm going to smack that right down there. But we are also, oh no, not that one, background color. Gonna put a little bit around it. And why is just because it'll give it a little bit more of a base to, oops, give it a little bit of a base to pull over. So here we go. That is pretty. That way, I think that is kind of what I was thinking about. Maybe I do want to, oops, because I touched the canvas there, so I might want to blow it a little bit like that. Oh, now I'm in deep doo doo. I got something that I, oops. And I'll tell you in a bit what I did. 
and I forgot all about it. Let me just make it a little bit more interesting. Oh, I would have liked that going a little bit wispier. Let's see if I can do that. I need one of those really small. Eh. Don't know where I have that thing. Let's see. Nope, I don't have it. Okay. I'll have to... Oh, no, I can do it with a palette knife. I have a tiny little palette knife. I do like this, but I'd like it a little bit wispier here. And cleaning it off. That looks kind of nice, yeah. I'm not really liking the uh, I'm not really liking the orange of the yellow in it. So next time I'm not going to do the yellow. But this is a nice little cute little painting, if I do say so myself. Do want to touch up that one because I touched it with my fingers. Okay, someone from um, Croatia, uh, Yugoslav, former Yugoslavia, um, she ordered something. And some people, I don't know, I don't know what is with some people. So um, she put on the um, on the uh, the um, the order form. She said, "And if you have a spare torch, can you just put it in the package, and I'll just clean it." And I'm thinking, I don't have a spare torch because I use them until they are not functional anymore and then I just you know then you have to throw them out because you know they just don't work anymore but I I put my good torch in the package I just gave it to her I'm too good for this world I know <laughs> yeah I am ugh, totally sometimes I don't know why That's why I, I didn't have my good torch. So I have to go get my new torch in a bit. I'll do that right now. Okay, guys, this is it. It's pretty. It has more blue in it. Not really like I was envisioning in my head, but that's like never. You never get a pour like you're thinking in your head. But I do like these cells with all these colors in there. So um, we'll just leave this to dry. And they can always choose because I'm going to be making a lot more. So um, that's going to be fun. Oh, let me just fix this one too. So we got the same colors. We will just give it a little bit of paint. There it is. Almost looks the same. Let me blow it with... Now it's a blob. Well, maybe it'll... Let me see. This one is almost empty. I'll give it a little juice. Ooh, that, that's not working. Okay. Maybe I should just wipe a little bit off here. A little bit. To make it more into the background. Fade into the background like that. Who knows, maybe someone will really like it. Because it's not always about what we like, right? So I'm going to make sure it's sort of incorporated into the pour. It, 
keeps looking better. Now you can almost not see that it's uh, been touched up. And this will dry flat so you won't see it. So that worked out, right? Yep, okay. Oh, these are long videos. I don't care. You can find the fast forward button, I'm sure. So I love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle, hoffe ihr allemaal, and I'll see you in the next video.